Bordine. I am back this week with the sew down. This is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, read, listened to, good stuff for you guys to kind of keep you busy while you're sewing. Um, I've got loads of really good things to talk to you about this week, especially loads of podcasts because I know that everyone really enjoys finding new podcasts. If you have any recommendations of articles or podcasts or anything, pop them down below because it's a conversation I definitely want to discover new ones and I'm sure you guys have got like if you listen to as many as we do then you, you'll have some ideas as well so we can keep keep it all kind of sharing. So to start off with I've got three exhibitions which I think are going to be fantastic. So the first one is at the Fashion and Textile Museum. It's from the 31st of March to the 10th of September. It's Andy Warhol exhibition of his textiles, which I think is going to be fascinating. Um, I didn't really know that he'd done kind of textile design as well, which, I mean, his work would obviously translate fantastically to print, um, but I just, I didn't know. So I'm definitely going to go and see this. And I just thought we'd let you know because it's going to be a great one. And you've got quite a lot of time if you don't live anywhere near London um, to plan a trip because there's a couple of other things and you can come and do like a big cultural day. So the next one is um, an exhibition at the Tate and I've been to see this one and it's on until the 21st of May. I can't pronounce her name and that's awful. It's M Magdalena Akabaus. I don't, I don't know how to say her surname. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it's really beautiful and it's definitely worth going and having a look. I found it very relaxing to go and see. So she's a Polish artist and she her work's predominantly in the 60s and um, she makes these kind of amazing sculptures using woven fibres, so kind of fabrics, and they're sort of suspended from the ceiling in these like massive kind of beautiful sculptural shapes and they're just really wonderful so if you are in London and you fancy going to the Tate that is definitely worth going and having a look and I've been seeing it's really great. Finally um, we've got an exhibition at the Historic Royal Palaces it's called From Crown to Couture a must-see fashion exhibition exploring court dress and red carpet couture and I thought this was very much up all of our streets I think it'd be really nice so it's on um, Kensington Palace and it is on from the 5th of April to the 29th of October. So you've got a good kind of run at that one. But I think that will be a really interesting one to go and see. And it's the biggest exhibition that they've ever staged. So you'll be able, and able to like wander through. And I think they said that there's like over 200 objects that they've got. So it'll be a really nice, big, meaty exhibition. So definitely worth planning to go and see that one. The last thing I've got in kind of events is um if anyone lives near Oxford um there Esme Young who we obviously know is from the Sewing Bee is doing a talk at the Oxford Oxford Literary Festival on the 27th of March and um, I thought it'd be really interesting and she's talking about um there'll be lots of interesting stuff so if you live around Oxford and you want to go this could be a really nice little um day trip right something to watch um, I've just started this and I'm really, really enjoying it. So it is called Make It at Market. And the concept of the show is that it's a B it's on the BBC, sorry. Um, so it's one of the guys from the repair shop, which I'm sure many of you watch and enjoy as much as I do. And um, they work with a team of people to help kind of creatives or kind of craft people create businesses out of their kind of passions. And there are quite a few episodes, actually. I've just kind of started on the first one. Um, there are 15 episodes, so it's a really nice thing. And they're about half an hour each. They're really nice to kind of get stuck into. Um, I think you'll enjoy... If you like the repair shop and you like the sewing bee and the bake-off, it's like an amalgamation of all of these things. And it will be really good. So that's something nice to watch. Stuff to read. So I've got um, a book, a couple of articles. So the first one, as many of us are probably aware, um, the cost of living crisis is making people so, so darning in particular has come back in and, and become, and I know obviously loads of us know about the kind of fashionable um, mending and making like mending jumpers and making them look 
beautiful and then the kind of whole becomes a piece of artwork in itself and it's an article about that so it's quite an interesting one so it's definitely worth going and having a read of that. Um, BBC News there's an article called Fashion Burns Paid Bangladesh Factories Less Than Cost Report so this was quite an interesting one for fast fashion um, they discovered that they're basically still paying um, all the factories the same amount they're paying pre-pandemic and as we all know the cost of everything has skyrocketed over the last two years and it obviously hasn't trickled down this far so that was quite an interesting and quite depressing but important read. So books, um, this is a Rachel um, recommendation, it's called The Story of Art Without Men by Katie Hessel um, it's a Sunday Time bestseller and it's talking about women in art um, because obviously as a majority they in history they were completely neglected. You never hear about female artists or you much more rarely hear about female artists and so this book explores um, women in the an artist before the 20th century so it's I think she said she's really really enjoying it so I'm sure you guys will like it too so I'll pop a link to that I should say everything I mentioned will be linked down below um, and then there's also an, a Guardian article to go with it of her talking about a, like a review of the book um, the story of men with that a story about without men and a review and putting women back in the picture so it's interesting if you're thinking about the book um, maybe go and read this article first because it will give you an idea of whether it's kind of the right thing for you. Um, but yeah, Rachel said it's really good and Rachel always gives you good recommendations of books. The last is like a, another Guardian answer, it's quite a funny one. Um, it's about a woman who has inserted really enormous pockets into all her clothing, so big that you can put a wine bottle in, in her... Um, in her skirts which we thought was all quite funny so um that's really a good little like bit of trivia to go and read and quite funny right podcasts oh got so many good ones okay so the first one is meet me at the museum I'm sure many of you I've talked about this in the past um this one is with Amber Burchart who is a um fashion historian and she um takes her partner um, to the museum, Braintree Museum in Essex and they look at kind of fabric and it's a really lovely episode and um, I loved it so definitely go and have a listen to this one. This one is a new podcast, this is a Rach one, I haven't listened to it but it's with Pandora Sykes who has excellent taste in books and it's called Book Chat and um, it's Pandora Sykes and Bobby Palmer and they come together each month to discuss two books and the rule is that the books have to be over two years old. So um, they both talk about them. Rachel said it's really good. I listened to a bit of the first one and I think it's a very nice, they're a very good like duo and I think you'll enjoy it. And I'm always looking for new books to be reading. So this is definitely worth going and having a listen. So next podcast we've got is, again, it goes ties back to the book we were talking about and it's hosted by um, Katie Hessel, who is the woman who wrote the book about female artists and it's called Great Women Artists Podcast and each episode they explore a different artist, talk about her narrative and um, it's really nicely done and I think you guys will really enjoy it and I quite like the idea that you can just flick through and pick you know an artist that you're interested in or you might discover someone totally new but um, they're, it's really well researched and well produced so I think you guys will like it. Next up we've got a a, a specific, uh, specific episode. So Raina Wynn, who I'm sure many of you will remember, wrote the book The Salt Path. If you haven't read The Salt Path, it was probably one of my favourite books I've read in the last few years. Go and read it. It's a memoir of a woman who becomes homeless in her 60s and decides to walk the, um, what's it called, the Great the coastal path that goes all the way round Cornwall and the West Country. Um, and it's just, it's so wonderfully written. And it's an episode with her talking about everything. And her husband who's ill and it's on the Happy Place podcast. I probably haven't said that. I don't think I have. 
So it's a really great episode, so make sure you go and have a listen to that if you like that sort of thing. The next podcast I've got is one that I think you guys are going to really, really love. Um, It's called Articles of Interest, and it's about items of clothing that we wear, and they do a sort of academic deep dive into a specific kind of garment or a trend. It's really well produced. I am absolutely loving it. So I really think just just go and have a listen because I think they're re- it's it's really fab. I'm so loving it. And each one I've learned like loads of different stuff about like really obvious things like jeans that I never knew about before. So it's definitely worth going and having a listen. Um, the next one is something that I just started. Um, it's a BBC um, podcast. And it's about the Samina Begum story, which I'm sure many of you will remember. It was the three girls who left the UK and went and joined ISIS. And Josh Baker, who is an investigative journalist, is, has gone out to interview her. She's now, I think they took away her, her citizenship. So she's actually in Syria in a camp. And um, he's gone and interviewed her. And I think it's, it'll be really interesting. I'm two episodes in and absolutely loving it. So the last podcast I've got is from um, someone sent it in just before Christmas, a lady called Nicola, um, and thought that I would enjoy it. And it's really fantastic. So it's called All There Is with Anderson Cooper, who is a CNN news presenter. And the whole thing, I should say, sorry, it keeps grouping in, is about grief. And it's a process of him clearing out his mother's apartment, who was like really high society in New York, had an affair with Frank Sinatra, I mean, really kind of glamorous life. But he then goes on to interview people and he just talks in a really interesting way about grief. He lost his father when he was 10, he lost his brother, and I should say this is a trigger warning, by suicide and has now lost his mum. So he's the last one left of his family. And there's a lot of really interesting conversations around grief, specific uh, also about death by suicide, which I think is something that is having personally lost a couple of people in my family. It's something that is not spoken about that much. So it's, um, it's really lovely and it's definitely worth going and having a listen. Right, that is it from me. Um, I hope that was helpful and you've got some nice stuff to read. Everything will be linked down below and have a lovely weekend. Bye.